we, we're deep at wide receiver. And that's the – it goes back to the statement of we want to do whatever our guys are good at. Obviously, going into it, like before the draft, I was like, hey, we're going to be an 11 team. We're going to be a, a 10 personnel team. Like, we have really good wide receivers. we got depth and great competition. And now all of a sudden you come out of the draft and, you know, as the draft's going on, we're drafted, we're a best available team, but all of a sudden a position need, we were able to take two guys that happened to meet up with the position need and how the board fell. So now it gives us flexibility to be in 13 personnel and, and 22 personnel and 12 personnel and do those things that uh, create multiple personnel groupings and makes it harder to defend you. You know, I think we've just added a lot of pieces to that room, and I think there's going to be a lot of, um, again, hopefully some cross-training and some mixing and matching a little bit. But um, And it may, again, this may come down to, to putting on, you know, myself and the coaching staff in terms of there may be packages that, that Jerome fits in better than Steph fits in or Chase or, or whatnot. You know, it's we've got some different body types and some versatile – players in there that, that it may end up shaking out, you know, again, looking ahead that, you know, it's sort of package to package or, or week to week and things like that. So um, all those guys are going get to a, get a shot to, to work through that and, and we'll go from there. Yeah, I just think Matt's got to think Matt's the, his, his best football is ahead of him. I think, you know, the one thing you got to remember with rookie kickers and punters is when they come in, if they make a team and, and go all the way through, they end up punting or kicking for 18 months in a row. I don't know, what do you mean? Well, they just finished their college season, right, for a year, for the, for the time. Then they train for the NFL the entire time. Then they get right into the NFL season. Then the NFL season is a long year. So Matt Hawk was on an 18-month punting, you know, streak, if you will. And so he hit, a little bit of a, he, hit a, he hit a little bit of a wall at the end of the year. But he's got a tremendous upside. I really feel like his best football has had him really high ceiling, very talented guy, really like where he's at. I only think he's going to get better. So I didn't feel at this point. I felt like he needed the reps in camp and really didn't feel like we needed to split time with him and with anybody.